Hello everybody, it's Pun Frugal Streamer. One of the biggest questions I get with voice meter, probably because I didn't really show you how to do it in my popular video on voice meter dual PC setup, is how to set up Discord. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about setting up Discord and voice meter. I have a couple channels I've labeled Discord, one in a virtual input and then one in a hardware input. And I'm gonna show you how to set it up both ways. It's just, it's simpler to do it that way. And with voice meter potato, because it gives you the extra flexibility with extra channels, it's, it's easy to use just a virtual channel for for discord and save a little bit of money with it with getting a without you know needing a virtual audio cable so i'm going to show you the first way here using a virtual input so we bring up discord and what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to voice and video now i have my microphone outputting to the b1 voice meter output uh, you could choose any one of these that's being unused. Uh, so, you know, feel free to choose yours. I'm just choosing B1. And so for the input device in voice meter, or in, I'm sorry, for Discord, I'm choosing the voice meter output B1. They'll be labeled voice meter aux output for B2 and voice meter VAIO3 output for B3. All right. And then here, what I will do is I am going to go into VAIO3 here on the input. So I need to find that. And it should be voice meter VAIO3 input, which is right here. So we got that. And so now I should see my microphone. If, if your microphone's working in Discord, uh, you should see it updating on the gate here. And then if you go to let's check, you should then see that inside of VAIO3's level meter there and you see it's all up in the green so that's good that's actually a good level coming in so we do know that the audio is now coming into voice meter all right so the second way that we can then do this if you wanted to use a dedicated hardware input uh, then you could go in and set an output device to a cable now i have a bunch of these virtual audio cables you can get these from vb audio's website um and I think they have up to five cables now. Uh, you can get the VB cable downloaded by itself, and then you can also purchase the uh, A and B pack and then the C and D pack. So here I'm going to go ahead and I've already installed these. I'm going to go ahead and set up cable C as the cable I'm going to use. So you want to select from Discord's output, you want to select the cables input. Okay, and then from there, then you will go to whatever channel you want to use. I'm using hardware input channel two and use, find the WDM cable C output. Uh, now, if some people may have issues with WDM not working, you can use MME. Just keep in mind that that's going to cause more latency. Okay, so WDM is the is the least amount of latency that you'll de deal with and definitely the recommended one that I would try to use first. Okay, so I have the cable C output now selected. So it's just a matter of going back into voice and video, doing the let's check and sending my mic signal to the uh, Discord 2. And you can, of course, see the VU meter going up here, which works great. Okay. So that is simply how you set up voice meter. Now, the second part of this is, okay, now how do you get this outputted to your uh, softwares like uh, OBS, for instance? All right. So it's simple to do. And like I said, you have a ton of options here. Something that I've really been thinking about and, and really recommending here lately is instead of having a bunch of different outputs set for all of your different sources, I recommend you setting two. One as a monitor output and one as a stream output, especially if you're a single PC streamer. So for instance, here I have Discord set up in hardware input channel two, and I want to use one of these outputs. Now I recommend using one that's not being used by anything else. So right now I have B1 used for my microphone, so I would not use that for a stream mix. The B3, for instance, is wide open, so is B2. So let's use B3. So you would just turn on B3 to all of the channels that you have audio set to, 
And this is going to output audio from all of these channels into one bus mix that you can then control the mixes inside of voice meter itself and this is something you can also monitor i have a1 as my headphone monitor output so i can listen to my headphone and i could set the mix through my headphones and then they should be good provided your headphones are are, are good uh that you're you're stream mix should it be, be set pretty well as an output and then what you would do is then inside of obs you would just set an audio input capture source and use the output that you have set in voice meter as your source uh, again you don't necessarily have to use b3 like i've done you could use b1 you could use b too if you wanted to just keep in mind that you don't want to have a bunch of this stuff doubled up so as you know like i said would be one i'm using that as my prime as my default record device inside of windows so i do not want any other sources going to that i rec that's why i recommend you using b3 b3 just you know you, 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 most people don't use it anyway and it gives you the option of having a dedicated stream mix and it simplifies your obs audio now for dual pc it's a little different um you can set a dedicated stream mix if you wanted to and then send all of this mix over v-band if you wanted to here i have a stream mix set using bus b3 as my stream mix that is then going over my network and if you know on my stream pc i could then bring that stream mix into a uh, voice meter uh, which is pretty simple to do or if you wanted to just send uh, a you know a couple of these separate outputs over to your stream pc you could do that too and i will show you that now so let's go ahead and i'll turn these b3s off Okay, so say I wanted to send just Discord over to my stream PC. Uh, well, then I would recommend you picking one of these hardware outputs. So, for instance, A3 is not being used. I will choose that. Then you would just go into VBAN. I have a comm channel set up here. Um, and here I you would select the bus that you turned on in that channel strip. And like I said, mine is A3. And now I have dedicated Discord audio going over to the stream PC that I can then bring into voice meter on the stream PC and then out to OBS using the output and the audio input capture source like I just discussed earlier. So it's actually pretty simple to set up. It's not hard to do. Uh, I definitely recommend if you can just to save money is to use a virtual uh, input that voice meter potato or banana creates for you already uh, but if you want that extra flexibility you can definitely use one of your hardware input channels and use a virtual cable to connect discord to voice meter okay so that's pretty much it guys but one thing before we close the video out i want you to know that vb audio now has their own discord channel uh, so you can go there and you can ask any question you want and you get direct feedback from the developers themselves. So go there, use it. I'll provide a link in the description below. It's grown a lot, uh, even within the last week. Uh, you know, and, and it's a great resource because I know a lot of people ask questions and unfortunately I just can't get to you all uh, in a timely manner. This is a great way for you to get instant feedback directly from the developers or from the community that may know the answer okay so other than that i hope you guys have a great weekend i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please hit the like subscribe to the channel hit that bell for notifications so that you'll know when i have a video that goes live but other than that guys have a safe weekend and we'll see you out there bye, -bye.